Hello everyone, we're watching now or later, Hillian here along with... Drifty here! And welcome back to Slime Rancher. And anyone who may have been following my, these videos may have noticed that I've gone back to the old earbuds. And that's because uh, even though... Where did I put them? Here did I put them? Even though these things are 40, 40 euros more expensive than uh, these ones, it seems that these have an issue with taking audio from multiple sources, which was causing those audio gaps for me. So, uh, yeah, I guess that says that uh, more expensive doesn't always mean it's better. So, yeah, I'll just be throwing these aside for personal use outside of streams. Because, yeah, these just haven't don't have any issue with this. All right. And, yeah, something else... I've complained a few times now that this game doesn't have a markable map, so what I did instead was make my own. Okay. okay. So, yeah, there... I did have to take screenshots from the game to, to make these because I just could not find one... <laughs> I just could not find a complete world map online. There probably is uh, that, well, showed the whole thing in a reasonable... Uh, in a reasonable resolution. Uh, so I did have to go into the game for a, a short bit to get those screenshots, slap them together in paint.net, which is a free and better version of paint, by the way. And yeah, just make a map and make a map that I could print out without just absolutely draining the blue paint. <laughs> okay. And yeah, because of that, a few more things unlocked, only a, well, a few a few more of the same thing. Over here, where well, the, the pinks are trying to well, I think. Uh, we've unlocked the blueprints for a few more of the blue of the teleporters, the blue and grey one. Beyond that. No, I think okay, this one was already here. I've got to wonder, what would we want with a Gordo slime, unless it'd be for getting a bunch of the same slime all at once? Okay, then. there is... Hmm? Yeah? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Remind me, what exactly is a snare? It's a trap. It lures it in and traps it. You... Think of those uh, boxes w held up by a stick with a rope and you know, with a cord tied to it. All right, then, no, then uh, remember correctly that there's a one problem. A Gordo can't move. <laughs> yeah. 
So, so what? Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see what happens. Okay, last time we went exploring the ruins a bit more. I'm going to put this aside so it's not constantly pressing into my fat gut. Yes, I need to lose weight. Who doesn't? Yeah. Let's see. We explored the ruins more. I did learn that the uh, the end of that isn't the end of the game because, well, we have all of this over here still. So we can just go over there, activate that. Uh, yeah. Find out what's all over here. There is still that boom slime over there somewhere. We haven't found the front of. And there's a, another one as well hidden in there. Yeah. That's a lot of mystery in this game. Like, who made the ruins? Does the gate lead to Slime Lantis? Also, I learned that with Hunter Slimes, whilst the Gordos are feral when they... Well, when Hunter uh, Largos are feral at the start, uh, you can tame them by just feeding them. So we can mix this guy with someone else. Probably it's, it's going to be a lot of work. Uh, yeah, if if you if they get unhappy enough, and hello, elder, they uh, they will go feral again. For now, though, we still have that hunter Gordo to feed. So once we've done that, we can well, we we can capture the the hunters that will spawn from that and put them in there with him. Or her. <laughs> slimes don't really have a gender. Also, we need to make... As far as we make... know. Yeah. Actually... It's very difficult to tell with a slime. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, they are literally probably gender fluid. And that joke is probably going to make some people hate me. It is a bad joke. Okay. We do need to get a bit of work with these uh, collection items, like the drill, the pump, and the aviary. For that, we're going to need a lot more plorts. Pink, boom, and honey. Okay. And these are going to stay annoyed here. Uh, actually, let me just dump all of these out. <laughs> <laughs> they all get dragged along. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I thought only the porch would get pulled off. Okay, let's just quickly dump these in. And let's... The drills. Those were for... Let's make, make a few of these. The yeah, drills... The drills we had to dig up something special in the Indigo Plateau. And if I remember correctly, the teleporter off to the side here will lead there. And since we haven't found the front of that uh, Boom Slime yet, or Boom Gordo yet, I say we for forego going after that one for now. Okay. Install. Install and install. And is there another? Yes, there. We're just going to leave these here for a while. And in the meantime, we go back. And yeah, let's go. Let's go grab ourselves more chickens. And they really are just staying stuck. In, well, one of them is moving. Maybe, maybe I should get rid. Maybe I should clear them out. Okay, now they get moving. Well, I, just not... <laughs> but I don't know what was going on there. Uh, yeah, we have chickens to collect. Nope. That one went quite a spin. Yeah, wait, what, why is the chickens in here? I think we dumped them off here because the these guys wouldn't eat them. They only eat fruits <laughs> and veggies. So this this is technically the best place for us to breed chickens. Because they won't touch them no matter what. If they, even if they get inside the coop, they don't have any interest in them. 
going to steal your food for a bit. And we're leaving you with one snack. Uh, Granny keeps us can stay with the family for a bit longer. So yeah, first priority is getting that hunter Gordo fed. And from there we'll have to see. Uh, we'll probably have to explore the ruins some more. Sleep. Mm. Yeah, it wouldn't be too much of a difference to go to the teleporter. And this way we can also co uh, collect some more chickens. Let's speak of the devil. Hmm. Yeah, we, we can keep these podcasts with us in case we somehow find uh, the front of that boom slime. Last week, well, we're not even heading the same direction, so... Well, we're keeping that for Lucky and Gold Slime then for now. Yep. <laughs> Stole that Tabby's food. Okay, more up here. Because these freaking Gordos just will not stop feeding. Actually, yeah, we're so it's in the overgrowth. Yeah, we're can. The moment I was thinking we would be heading for the yeah, for the ruins, but that's because it was talking about the freaking boom gordo. Yeah, you're not escaping me. This should be more than plenty of chickens to feed it. I hope we have fed it some. We've fed it some before. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's just no telling how much we need to feed it still. Yeah, and they can eat quite a lot. Yeah. I thought I'd set my phone here as to, to do the stream manager stuff, but apparently it didn't click or something. It's one viewer, 32 followers, 790 views. Not bad, but... I, whatever I'd say after that would probably sound egotistical. It's not like I'm expecting people to view this like they are uh, quote unquote supposed to or something. It's just if someone enjoys watching me and Rakir just uh, go through stuff, then uh, you're welcome to watch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, as long people are happy, I'm happy. Here we have these guys who are annoyed. Diet everything. Now if I Yeah, that that'll keep them satisfied for a bit. Yes. This way and then to the left. Bunch of honey spawned there, I think. Oh, hello. There's more chickens over back there, but yeah, let's. Let's first see if this is enough or not. If not, then, well, we can always go back and get some more. I think some spawn nearby anyways. Also, let's see. I see you there. Fruit and meat, so not... Yeah, I can see the shimmer. Fruit and meat. Yeah, all of them are golden, or, well, honey, and one of them suicided. <laughs> Yeah, if, if, if we come here with... Actually, if... No, I, they wouldn't have eaten. Actually, they would have eaten. No. Yeah. I'm, if we'd fed the Aka Akas to the pink slimes, then we'd still have to f the fruit to feed to these guys, which would be a, a good source... Uh, a good source of hunter plorts. So we are going to be making our own... Our own outlagos. Oh, uh, well. Oh, dear. Yeah. It's a massive gunner. And it's still one, at least. Okay, we're going to show? Yeah. Actually, yeah, let's start with the one that we, we have the fewest of. Oh, there we go. And get over here, you. 
Nope. I can't see where it. <laughs> Getting the distract you. Uh, not you. Uh, and we, <laughs> we accidentally killed that one by bouncing him around. Oh. Here. And these guys. Yeah. These guys uh, are pretty rare to find, so yeah, any amount that we could get here is a good way to take us. That's a saber slime, but it looks like a plain walrus. Oh, hello, num lucky number seven. It's a good thing that I heard that one. And this is a blue stripey ornament. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why the hell did that sink into a somersault? <laughs> Uh, well, that does mean that we can feed the rest of these chickens to the... Wait, yeah. did you get anything special, like a key or something? Uh, yeah, uh, almost for... Yep, there's a key up there. <laughs> the so folks in the freaking hunter slums that have yep, that basic thing. This is why people... Well, partly why I gladly join uh, the streams. Because I, I get too easily distracted. Yeah, he, I don't think he got easily distracted and forgot a lot of things. And, and also another like, saber. That's right, he said he, he would enjoy with some company. So I thought, why not? Yeah, on, on my own, I'd probably be boring. And I'm guessing that's why the those guys want to join me up here. <laughs> okay, grumps. Eat. Ow. As it eats. That one's... Okay, now they are happy. Let's get these... That honey plores, the hunter plores we want. So those are the most valuable. And we'll probably need them for construction at some point as well. That's not impossible. I would not see that happen. Okay. Now, let's see. There's a, a bunch of these freaking pods around. Oh, hello, boom ones. Oh, it did. Okay, shooting them in midair isn't going to work. Okay. Not their favorite, but it'll. Any one of these is useful. Oh, I can hear a Tara somewhere. Oh, there. It... Advanced real blueprint. Ow! Okay, Grump. Get food. Uh, that was a Bactar right behind me, yep. Yeah, don't become part of the menu now. Hey, uh, right there. Okay. <laughs> Come on, I shot. <laughs> okay, that's... Yeah, let's not spend too much time here, as adorable as these little bandits are. Come on. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> let's leave them to their boss with the chicken. So, I guess you could call it chicken soup now. Energy as I go around because I do not want to fall into the water whilst I'm carrying seven hunt Oop. seven valuable slimes. Okay, we have that one down there. I should make a note of that on the map. And
Okay. Let's see. If I could, I would let him borrow my Safari hat. Yes, I have one. I think, actually, I think by now the yeah there, there was a request for slime for water slimes and others, but by now I think that one will have expired. So let's just get their plorts. We should check up on our own sl water slime still. What is this idea? Okay. Hmm. Still need to leave that thing behind and uh, hello there. Okay. Let's see. We are going to have to balance things a bit though. Between uh, storing plorts for creation or selling. But for now, this batch I'm going to store. Um, do we have. We have ex no, we do not have any ports in here. Okay. Hmm. We'll definitely need to get to work with those uh, drones to automate the beating and everything. Well, I'm going to make a lot of things easier. Nope, star mail. Put down oh, the slow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, all of this goes in here. No. Uh, let's see. We probably can't build anything with those just yet. Uh, uh, oh, actually, we need... Okay, good that we stored them because we need them for the drones. And we're probably going to want a bunch of those. Let's see. Why Honey stone and what? If I remember right, you have thrown away honey pots. Uh, yeah, we... The wild honey we left behind at one point because the other thing that we could pick up was royal jelly, which was a more rare. Okay. Still grumpy with those. And... Okay, just for you, let's put that up a bit higher. No, oh, actually, they, they don't eat fruits. Yeah. yeah, that was dumb. Okay, um... I can't pull those out, but I can fire these in. And some for you. Get out. Okay, anything to pick up here? Yes. Only two rocks? Okay. And again, we probably emptied that one out earlier at some point. Still have two plots here to work with. Yeah, the, the, I, what should we put there? There are still some slime species that we haven't found, which are over here. Get new ones even. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All of them just staring at the roosters. And he's just staring back like... Don't let me. If I blink, I die. If I blink, I die. If I blink, I die. <laughs> yeah. Because it was more like Slime, it was one more. And now we just killed the human for the entire story of them. How did I get this story? Okay, these guys. And the, we, for now, I think it'd probably be best to focus on money so we can buy all of the blueprints. And once that has been dealt with, we can focus on, yeah, expanding, uh, well, 
building stuff and using it. So for now... Uh, yeah, we need quantum quartz for the teleporter at the end of the ruins. So, after dumping off the elderly here... That was a lot of male lemons. Let's check in here. There are 50 of them. Okay. You all behaving? Uh -oh. Well, you know what they say. The life gives you lemons. Now, if people at Aperture Science uh, would disagree on that, which they'd say uh, when life gives you lemons, uh, use them to burn down the people with the person. Burn down the house of the person who gave you lemons in the first place. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it's one of the quotes from a. Uh, I forget his name actually. But. It's a bit of a halfway spoiler, perhaps, for a game that's been out for over a decade now, I guess. But about halfway through Portal 2. Uh, you start getting commentary, well, pre-recorded commentary, from a... Come on, what? He wants the melanin. Mango in the here. Uh, you start finding pre-recorded uh, messages from uh, Aperture's former CEO. And uh, oh. he does not get happy at certain points. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just realized. Oh, what? Okay, well, I thought for some reason it seemed like there were a lot less uh, of the Gordos around. Not Gordos, Largos around. Some of them are having trouble speeding themselves, it seems. So maybe I should set up another uh, farm. Might be an idea. And I also realized here that. Do you meet lemonade of lemon? What the heck do you keep me doing with the make them paste lemons? Uh, probably some quantum fuckery. Uh, probably not this drink then. Yeah. You know, you'd probably, if you made lemon out of these things, you'd probably end up with uh, lemonade phasing into your lungs or something. Ugh. Oh, well, you you start teleporting everywhere or into a wall. Yeah. Or even worse, you, your stomach teleports away. Yeah, let's not make food of that, people. Yeah, that'd be the wrong kind of fast food. <laughs> For food to go. Now the dumbasses are feeding themselves. Yeah, all slime, no grain. Right. Oh god! Hmm? Thank you for the flashback. I used it to play when I was younger, Wizardry 8. And the slimes there had brains! Okay. So when you smith them, you saw a blob with a brain inside. And when you kill them, they they got the slight open and the brain was well, just on the floor, pulsing until it disappeared. Okay, a rat slime is a natural evolution or result of exposure to foreign matter. I think he said that before, or asked that. Booms and phosphor, okay? Oh yeah, this is one of the missions I think you failed at. Yeah. So that's why I picked him, and we we don't actually have a reason for the, to keep these phase lemons around, I think. So let's just dump them here with them. <laughs> hmm. We'll come to collect the plorts later. Oh, I only noticed now that the water slimes' the sports are called puddle plorts. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for now, let's store these. We'll see if we'll sell later or not. We have 3,000, but we 
We need quite a bit of cash probably for all of the blueprints. I didn't see how much he wants, so let's just grab all of them. Probably didn't want more than 10, but I think this is enough. And the booms we found in the quarry. Wait, why are you walking around with expensive plot on you? Uh, yeah, I probably... Uh, yeah, I, I don't need to bring this many over here, and we probably can find a bunch as well. But, yeah. Let's just... Let's just go deal with that teleporter now before we forget or get sidetracked again. And whilst we are here, because we got sidetracked again, let's go check out that mail. Oh, it was 10. Then I guess you're a guest. For as many hour minutes you have left to live. Oh. Let's see, coming home. Hi, Bea, the year we both came home, do you think it uh, ever could have worked? I mean, being with you again every day instead of the long distance thing, that was great. I remember feeling really happy, but something was missing. We both knew that we were giving something up for it all. I think about it all the time, that if we had been less honest about it, oh, how you might still be running that little garden shop and I'd still be trying to write music out of a basement. It doesn't matter. I should have told you then what I never did. I should have said it a hundred times. Okay, so they... It seems like they weren't a re official couple, but that, at the very least, Casey did have feelings for Beatrix here. Yeah. I remember, not so much long ago, I was half watching, I was, I was having playing in background when the Yakitsapi guy finished the early alpha version. And he got emotional, if I remember right. Okay. Let's so I see. guess... I want to say he changed it at the... That the... He got sad or you know, happy? I, yeah, yeah, it was long ago. We'll have to see. And... Yeah, if I recall correctly, this teleporter should throw us... Yep, over here. And then we can go... Uh, yeah, we can go to the... Yeah. <clears throat> we can go to the ruins from here. Since we haven't found a route to the Boom Slime's mouth yet, let's uh, not bring anything meant to feed it. So we're only taking these Quantum Plorts and we'll, be, we'll take whatever we find back. Oh god, no. Hmm? I'm thinking of crying and I realized I always don't cry over what we saw on Hero Academia today. Thank you. What was that? What was that play they wanted to do again? Boom and Yulia! Pastorinia! No. Boom and Yulia, Harry Potter and... The Two Towers? Into one play was what? No, it was Romeo and Juliet, Prisoner of Azkaban, The Return of the King. All oh, right. Yes, some of you me to cry. Despair, you cry. Why? Okay, let me use the red pen instead, and we are about here. Okay. I, swear, I hope no one tries to make that. I really hope no one tries, but that sounds just painful. Okay. Easier to put it to the side there, so I don't have to turn around every time. But yeah, yeah. Th this, base, this pretty much confirms that there's at least three stages of those... Uh, <clears throat> of those treasure pods. The black ones are probably stage three, and the other ones that we have been able to crack are stage one. And yeah, whilst we... Well, we could have picked up some boom slimes here, but they've all turned into Largos. Okay. 
Okay, there's, there's still some parts in the ruins here that we haven't found yet. So, yeah, we'll have to spend some time just exploring the place from top to bottom. To find out what that... You know, what part will lead us to the... Where we can beat the freaking... Okay, that's closed off. Where we, where we can feed the freaking boom gordo. Mm. When did we pick up a tabby? We probably lost it was collecting that <laughs> boom slime. Okay. Think this. Yeah, that, that place, but, but there's also something here that is open anyways. Okay. Blueprint? Sunburst tree. Three from this... Okay. I, I didn't know we could fabricate trees. And Wait. this one is about there. Okay. Wait, have you seen some trees? I have no what idea what it? sort of. I'm guessing it still does be a decoration. And behind here? Um, where you were. I mean, I mean like, maybe there was, was a oh. sun tree. Near yeah, this is that. The... This is that tree. Right. And I, we still haven't seen if those echoes are for you know, used for anything other than decoration. So we'll leave those be for now. Right, it seems that this entire lower area is a bit of a dead end. Remember here, it feels like in most games they remove the whole thing about dead ends, but you know, there were some games in the past where dead ends were common. Yeah, in old games and uh, RPGs. Probably not the best moment to go over here, and oh, that's a tar there already. Oh, there is the, there is the chubby. Let's see. Can I get over there? I don't think running actually affects how fast we go with this. Okay, so we, we know he's over there. We need to find an entrance somewhere. Where? Yeah, so, uh, so it. Now, there was a gap in the wall, yeah, but I don't think that'll be big enough for us to get through. This place doesn't connect to anywhere, except for down maybe, there again. Maybe it gets big enough when we make this land go boom. Uh, we, we can take a look. Or actually, could something be... No, these are solid. For a moment I thought one of these bushes are hiding stuff. Well, those are bushes. And wait. Let's peek right. around. Oh, that that side is open. Okay. And a uh, yeah, you need to see the danger cost him. He's blocking your paw. That's the problem. Yeah. yeah. I think we can fall into here from there to feed him. Because yeah, we. Let's see if I can find a chicken. If we fire, if we fire food at its back, then it'll just bounce off. Because apparently, an amorphous uh, blob of biomatter need, can only have a mouse at one place. Wait. Okay. What did? Okay, that opens this and closes something else. This doesn't go anywhere, but yeah, this is how we get to the to his mouse. And it's 
Is it only just for a shortcut? So, there are two keys here. So he likely has a key then as well. And there's a, one of these. And that okay. is... There might be three levels before me. Four. Of level... Oh, of these things. Uh, yeah, I, this one is the white, the same as the one we found earlier at the edge of the overgrowth. Okay, but at least we know how to get over here and feed him. So, okay. I think I... Okay, I think this might be part of a puzzle because there is... Is there anything under... We, not that we can see from here. Maybe there is something underneath that we need this door to be closed for, because why else would there be a gate here? Maybe, maybe that door needs to be sealed off so that we can find something else. Yeah, and the only way to do it is with the slam, uh, the boomer. Gone, and Kitty went yeah, for a swing. Okay. Spare. And uh, yeah, this is what they call the, the side of a, a chicken genocide. Oh dear. Now, to get up there, we need to. How did you get on that ledge? Actually, that's probably one of their. Yeah, one of. No, one was going to teleport there, I think. No, he teleported away. Okay. Let the energy recharge, just to be certain. So I do not want to <laughs> fall in. Hmm. But, yeah, Slime Rancher 2. It's set to be released in the next year, nothing specific. And the, the trailer doesn't show too much. Mostly it shows that uh, yeah, it, it'll be mostly this more of the same. It doesn't hint at any specific changes, uh, other than that the game is a lot more colorful. And yeah, let's see, there were bat, sli bat slimes, butterfly slimes, and those were the two main ones that I can remember now. I saw the video a few days ago. And I've commented about my memory often enough. Okay. And now the final area is open. I did not expect it to... Okay, I thought we'd have to move for the market. The Glass Desert. Under a blistering sun, prismatic giants evoke beauty and peril. And the Glass Desert is mostly uncharted territory within the Far Far Range. Located so far beyond the, rain, eh, the ranch that it is only accessible via teleportation. And the Glass Desert gets its name from the monolithic glass structures that dot its landscape. Resembling prismatic frozen flames, these glass structures are believed to have been created during a violent solar event. Scorching the land and sand, heating sand and stone into glass. These glass structures are also believed to be the catalyst for the dangerous solar anomalies that you know, regularly occur in the glass desert. Firestorms that burst from the ground as if intense heat is dispensed, you know, desperate to escape the ground below. But the desert barren, unforgiving, sometimes violent environment hides a secret. Somewhere deep within it lies a memory of what once was and a means of restoring parts of that memory. Okay. So that's what it goes up for. We'll have to see. For now, I... Well, they, they aren't categorized as decorations, so it could be that they have a use yet. And that is quite pretty. Ooh. But... Butterscotch teleporter. Okay. What? Yeah, it still confuses me at times that butterscotch is considered a color. It, it, it is just a, a, a variant of yellow. Personally, I do not really care for all of these 
different variants of a color like scarlet, red, etc, etc. I'm okay with them, sort of, but butterscotch is the definitely... That one feels hard for I also used to feel like it's a food. I'm not sure if I've ever had it myself. And it's a bit thin on slimes here. What is... What are you? Uh... You can't suck it up. Furious for power? Hmm. Nope. Okay, so we're going to have to deal with tornadoes as well. Okay, that those are going to be fun when they run into a bunch of slimes. Oh dear. Like... Dervish slime. Twists and turns all day and spirals all night. Prickle pear is their food. The dervish slime is a swirling, whirling bundle of energy in slimy form. Dervish slimes are commonly found in the glass desert, cruising along its dusty dunes at high speed atop, their li atop little whirlwinds. One thing is for certain, wherever the dervish slime needs to go, it gets there in a hurry. Dervish slimes can cause total chaos on a ranch if not cared for properly. In addition to frequently riding atop whirlwinds at high speed and collecting objects along the way, a highly agitated dervish slime can produce giant cyclones of air that vacuum up and toss about anything they touch. When cyclones are roaring across your ranch, there's little you can do other than brace for the chaos that will soon follow. Because that's going to throw a lot of floors around to a lot of Largos. Dervish plorts are a fantastic source of clean energy that helps give uh, turbines and generators an extra boost. They are in constant demand as curiously there is a finite number of spins stored in each dervish plort. Okay. So there is kinetic batteries. And I'm guessing prickly pears are supposed to be growing off these oddly orbular... Is orbular even a word? The spherical cacti. Oh, wait. Other. It ain't a uh, cactus apples and uh, cactus pears a thing. Yep. And I think they usually a um, more couple coming called of prickle pear and prickle apples. Oh, hello. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that you went with a normal fruit here. Not not the uh, cubeberries and all that. But he's just plain regular prickle pear. That's it. Okay, that one's noted. And yeah, it seems that we have another puzzle that we need plorts for. This one is a plant slime of sorts. It is a bit odd that this place is so abandoned. It could be because this is the first time that we've loaded it in. Oh, yeah. oh, hello. Yeah. Possibly, and uh, it could also be due to yeah. it in a desert. For more than I thought, the stick chicken was stuck to it, and I don't think. Okay, things will just stick to it. Are you a slime that's hiding or something? Hmm. But that is curious. Yeah, we'll just have to keep exploring and see what we find. Because we need to find a map. No interest in you. I have you. Another one of these. I should probably mark those on the map as well. But for now, they've been in the open enough to be easily spotted and the hell painted hen. Some believe it's what lies at the end of the rainbow. Totally disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> Favored by Tangle Slime. 
Painted hands are the colorful chicken variants found in the glass desert. It is unknown what caused their rainbow-like plumage to occur. One theory suggests their colors are a biological mimicry of the prismatic glass found within the desert. But another theory states that their wild colors made them the dominant mates of the clock kingdoms and were thus banished to the desert by a coalition of jealous chickens who couldn't compete with these fashionable fools. Fowls. But the latter theory is only actually believed by one very strange person, so we're not sure why it's even been <laughs> concluded here. <laughs> uh. Same as always. Okay. Yeah, I guess we have another coop to make then. And... A tiny chick that's hiding a bounty of colorful potential. Uh. Oh, uh, I almost missed. Let's see. The glass desert is a fascinating place, but you need to be on guard. At any moment, a dangerous solar anomaly can occur that will cause all hack to brace lo uh, break loose for a spell. You'll know it when you see it, and when you do, head for cover or risk burning your tuck nuggets. Okay. Yeah, your ass. You're right. I'm I heard you? it before, but it's been years I heard it. I hope this counts as a... Uh, is this one of those solar... At night? There's more ruins here. It's reflecting off... Sunlight reflects off the moon, and there's one of those fire vortexes. Oop. Right after we bloody read the damn thing. I think I might actually have locked it. In. Unlocked it happening or something. Yeah, okay, for... I first I thought... Can we... What is that? Luckily, didn't cause any dip. I get this. Okay, the rocks are just debris that get thrown around it to sparkles that spawn new ones, I think. Or no spawn fire like that. Okay. Let me suck those up. Doesn't seem like it, though. Those are pretty far away. It seems to be lessening now, though. No, we can't affect those. And hello there. I think that was a fire slime. Hmm. Yeah, perhaps okay. the fire slimes appear during these uh, fire storms. Again, one of these. And more ruins. And there is another of those receptacles. We are going to le need to leave some stuff behind to return to here again. Or for us to collect here again. And hello. This is very obviously cared for. Did we find Hobbs' little garden? The desert is a harsh place for sure, but there are little pockets like this where life is waiting to flow back into the soil and reach towards its clouds. Of course, it might happen a little faster if you give it a helping hand. Use that noggin, Beatrix. I think with that he means adding water. Or not. Hmm. And of course, a bit of a slime in uh, eye, eye, mouth. Hmm. Wait. Did you ever shoot any holes through those flowers earlier? Oh, that, okay, yeah, that might be it. Okay, clever. It doesn't actually seem to be doing much. I think they're moving the same amount as earlier. 
Maybe just a certain amount of water needs to be dumped on them. And there's another rock receptacle. Hmm. Okay, so we need to bring two rock plorts here. And there's a door. We have plenty of keys. Yeah, but one. We're hard one. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, we well, we know that we can find more keys somewhere else as well. And one of you, stone hands. Yeah, we're going to need to figure out what to do with those, you know, slime shoots. It's going to be unhappy slimes here. Oh, oh there's the fire slimes. Okay, and... Uh, oh, those are rocks, okay. For a moment I said, when, since when, when did they add blue slimes or blue normal slimes? And actually... Okay. I heard something there, and I saw something break ooh, off ooh. from this. Oh. <laughs> and there's the blood port. Nope, get away. You go away. Even more. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm dumping him. Let's see any more. Or stone ports. Do you need the boom slimes for quests? Yeah, but if we're only carrying one around, then we're wasting a lot of space. Oh, that... That... It was a gold... It was a gold slime that we heard. Um, uh, That, we are taking that. We are holding it. Just because we need two of these, let's do another check to see if another might have spawned or been dropped by one of these. Okay, so... And hello there, Aaron Dome bloke 247 for following. If you are not a bot follower, there it is, because Bridge seems to be having a lot of those lately. Zary the Fox, thank you for following as well. <laughs> Missing. Okay. Now we should have enough for whatever puzzle might be back up there. And hello there, Zary the Fox, and. Okay, everyone don't blow. Okay, but oh, that's, that's a lot of tar. Okay. okay. Run! Yeah, we're getting the, out of here. Yeah, okay. Angry uh, what Pop said. Okay, okay uh, to answer that question, we are arrived. Well, this is the first time that we've gotten into the glass desert. Uh, we started out. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, so we started out collecting a bit for the uh, laboratory for fabrication. There are a few drills over there busy at the moment. Okay. One goes in here. Uh, so yeah, for now we're exploring the glass deserts. We'll have to find the map part of this. We need to figure out how, what to do with these guys. Are there any more of those in here? Because something would... There... Yeah, okay, we need a third. So, yeah. Explore glass desert. Get more slimes. Get more chickens, apparently. Because we don't have any painted hens at the play... At, oh, hello there. We don't have any painted hens at the ranch. 
Do the puzzle. You mean the rock lord puzzle, I'm get assuming? Okay, since it seems that we only need one more. Okay, that's a hen. If I find another rock slime somewhere here, I will bring a plort of it back to that thing. Do the puzzle, then you water. Okay, we, we tried water, which is why our water tank is empty. And the Tangle Gordo eats meat. Okay. Now it's on the map. You're probably hiding a teleporter under here, I'm guessing. Or a key, which is useful because, well, the door there. We're out of keys. Hmm. So we've hit a bit of a dead end for now then. Or is there something there? No, just another nest. We could probably pluck up a few chickens from around here. Oh, ah, there is the map. Okay. Yeah, this we have a lot. Oh, wait. Hmm? It means you're gonna need to make a new map, doesn't it? Uh, not really, I can just overlay it. Uh, if you're wondering, uh, the, the other voice that is Drakir. We, I'm streaming the game to him through Discord. I uh, don't have anything yeah. to feed you. And I'm the greatest Swede in his head. <laughs> okay, is there anything I can feed you? Box. I don't clearly. Uh, on the recordings, you should be audible enough. Or, you know. Yeah, I've been wondering if I should get a better mic. Well, all the mic I have is, uh, is my first port mic, a little bit of a cheap one. Okay, let's <laughs> eat that up. Just in case there are any more over there. Actually. Now we'll have to find a water source as well again because we we completely ran out. And yeah, you're, you use up all your water in the damn desert. I think we're seeing the problem here. Okay. Not hearing or seeing anything activate. There are... There's still a few other re receptacles that we saw. One for the Tangle Slimes. Oh, oh, okay. Ancient water. Okay. And type? Oh. Okay, because we're using the wrong water. Oh, oh. Okay, I was ex expecting those to be a sort of slime, but no. They are for rejuvenating the desert, it seems. No? Okay. That might also explain why there's so few slime spawns. Okay. That is good to know. Oh. And, oh. <laughs> Prismatic sli or mosaic slimes. Okay, we have no need for those anymore then. Here we go. Remarkable from every angle. They eat veggies and they like silver parsnip. The mosaic slime gets its name from the glittering array of glass tiles that cover its body. The glass produces a similar anomaly found in the desert itself, making the mosaic slime beautiful but quite dangerous. Mosaic slimes can be very dangerous for an unprepared rancher. The glass tiles create a shimmering effect in daylight that attracts other slimes to them. It is unknown why slimes exhibit this behavior exactly, but leaning theories suggest that sparkly things are super cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Even more dangerous, the mosaic slime can produce glints in the space around them. Super hot solar anomalies that grow in intensity before drifting towards the ground and bursting into flames. Glints can be snuffed with a splash of water, but the best way to reduce their appearance is to ensure your mosaic slimes are well fed and not agitated. 
mosaic ports are desired for researching the glass structures within the glass desert. Samples of this glass turn brittle when taken from the far far range. Yet interestingly, mosaic ports seem unaffected by this phenomenon. Almost certainly this glass is being studied because it's <laughs> really pretty, not because it can cause devastating solar anomalies. Uh, look at this glass face. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first one. Yep, and there's an example of a... Oh, oh crap. Oh. Yes. Uh, let's see, Aaron Bloke, uh, or Aaron Dunbloke. He is a new slime that spawns in the new mini bikes. Yeah. Yep. Let's have a little look. I found it a... Oh. I found it a tad suspicious that there were so little uh, uh, slime spawns. And we are taking as much as many of you as we can. So, yeah, thank you for that. Thank you for what? Aaron, the, the commenter. Now, let's take this and I'll see how far we can go filling this stuff in, even if... Okay, there's a whirlwind right outside. So maybe not the best of times. Yeah, this is very good. Wasn't there one here? Yeah, up here. Just in time on that one. Okay. Getting quite a few. Yeah. Oh, hello. These are the tango slimes, I'm guessing. Um... Okay. 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 That. I'm guessing that's how the tango slimes eat. Um, I'm putting these guys to the side for a moment, and then whilst one of you is still normal, tango slime. A slime that. <laughs> you. Okay, and they like painted hands. Though the tango slime may look innocent with its mild smile and colorful flower atop its head, it's actually a fearsome predator with a big appetite for tasty meat. The tango slime earned its name from the twisting vines that it can produce to grab things in the environment. It's unknown what caused the tango slime to become such a fearsome predator in the barren waste of the glass desert. However, if the land once resembled a lush greenery of the oasis, resembled the lush greenery of the oasis within. Perhaps the tangle slime evolved in a much different environment than what you see today. The tangle slime can be a handful on the ranch if they are not well fed at all times. Not only can tangle slimes tunnel their vines underground to snatch foods and plorts from outside of their corrals, but the flowers on their head can produce a noxious pollen cloud that can cause other slimes to go into sneezing fits. When slimes sneeze from the pollen, their agitation rapidly increases, causing more boom slime explosions, crystal spike, and slime spikes, and all-around jumpiness. Okay, so the, in general, the slimes that you get here can be troublesome. Very troublesome indeed. Despite the troublesome nature of the slimes that create them, tangle plorts have an incredible beneficial agricultural applications. The fertilizers and growth formulas made from tango plorts are used by farms all across Earth to greatly enhance crop production. It's speculated that the unusually high nutrient count found within tango plorts that now grow Earth's vegetables results from the tango slime's incredible appetite for chickens. But that's super gruesome, <laughs> so let's just ignore that. <laughs> okay. And that's their plorts. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm no. not dropping that gold plort, no matter what. Yeah, that's why tactical retreat. Yeah. Grabbing the hands again. Okay, once the hands here, just can eat them. Yep. Okay, just going to grab another dose of water just to see how far we might be able to bring it back to the other side, because we saw some of those shoots over there as well. Let's wait for the energy to refill. There we go. 
So, yeah, the mosaic slimes can be troublesome with the heat and such, so I'm guessing we can put them in the, uh, in the cave. Okay, now where were those? There. And that's probably, yeah, that's the only one that we can get. Okay. Yo, that, that's a lot of carrots. These dervish slimes are not that... Okay, that's a lot of them. Not sure where we can put these. Maybe at the docks, so that even if they start throwing things around, the, it, most of it should land in the water. Just new, starts neutralizing it. Let's see, what's like... Maybe cave may work? Hmm. Yeah, we are... We can move out the phosphorus and put a, uh, a solar shield over them. So I guess that that may, does make it a viable thing, even after you open the cave. Now let's see, Aaron bloke, Aaron Don bloke uh, says, "What type of slimes you got on the ranch, and which uh, ones are your go-to for money?" At the moment, we have a good bunch of different ones. Uh, we have crystal booms. We have uh, a few hunters up uh, locked up. Uh, we have some rock tabbies, we have phosphor rads. And we have a, a, a couple of we have a couple of water slimes. I still need to check if we can make largos with those. Because, uh, maybe. Yeah, if let's see, do I have this one marked? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, since the game doesn't let you mark things on the map yourself, I printed out a map yesterday for this. So let's see, that is over here. So, yeah, if we can mix the water slimes with uh, something that could otherwise be troublesome. Actually, maybe we can mix them with the dervish. Interesting combo. Desert and water into a train. Okay, Aaron uh, Aaron Dom says nope, you can't make puddle loggers. Okay, yeah, no. it, would, it would probably be too easy to just mix those with a very valuable one and just let them feed on water. Okay, while you were away, okay, that is the achievement for being away 24 hours. And yeah, we were long enough away to disappoint Victor a second time. <laughs> Let's just hand that in. And now we have seen every one of these. And yeah, the fire slime seemed to spawn during the fire and during the solar events. Okay, we should do some restructuring later. And yeah, here we have our eight hunters. <laughs> Getting a bit annoyed. Okay, uh, we have two elders. Eat us! Yeah, even the elderly! Oh, that sounded horrible! And yeah, we used to have the uh, puddle slimes in here. Now we're using it as a, a boss for the elder chickens. The elder chickens. Suddenly you invent them new religion. Of elder chickens. They can't escape, but let's feed some of them that. We do need to make Largos with these to make it easier to feed them. The question is, what do we mix them with? These guys here are generally happy, even though that one isn't. Because, well, we have this growing over here. Thank you. Let's grab it all and let's throw it into... Uh, yeah, the, these guys over here have been a good money maker so far. Other than that, and the ones in there. And the ones I will probably be most fearful of myself. They go to end shattered crystals everywhere. Like, I think I like it. Yeah, I need to walk inside a cage. 
Okay, Aaron again. Pro tip, never mix Hunter Slams with the uh, Quantum Slams as <laughs> you're free ranching. First and experience, it was not fun. Yeah, <laughs> we, have the, we have those over there. <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare combination! <laughs> Actually, we have a bit of money. We have these new chickens. And yeah, here we have our phosphor rats. And yeah, they they have two plants to eat from. I could probably remove one, but for now, let's build a coop over here. Because these are fully vegetarian. They should leave these guys alone. Though actually. Wait. Slime. Oh wait, there was a right, right thing you made. Da, 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 mosaic. Okay, silver parsnip. It's the tangles that we don't want to put in here. Because yeah, since I'm, I was thinking, since these guys react to sunlight, if we stick them in here, then they should be much easier to handle. And then we can just stick these guys. Uh, well, we could we could throw out a bunch of them because there is <laughs> just way too many of them. We could stick them then in one of the uh, in a corral with a solar shield and be done with them. Yeah, but so far, show the game is really close. Only it has been very tricky to gather those plots. Yeah, with the radiation everywhere. Yeah. We haven't gotten hurt by it yet. Uh, yeah. We could, we could... Once we manage to set up a bunch of drones to automate the feeding, then... Uh, yeah, the, this thing will be a lot easier. Yeah, it probably also be good idea to soon start letting them have their own corral. Yeah. Uh, oh dear, oh dear. Actually, now that I think about it, we might, mixing the mosaic with the dervish in here might work. Because they can't throw anything uh, out of their pram, so to speak. Pram being the British word for. Uh, okay. Actually. Is it called a pram in uh, in America as well? Hmm. We'll have to see. A what? A pram. Uh, a pram. P R A M. Uh, baby, uh, a baby box, basically. It's what they call it in in, uh, in English or British English. I did not know that. Okay. Yeah, we we kind of don't even need this thing here. We're, we're going to need to do a bit of planning and come on, Granny, back in the pool. Actually, I could probably throw these guys in the cave as well and open this up. My bad, bad way, way. Oh, um, I might be. I might be getting the word the word wrong, but a pram. I, I think it's I think it is the British word for not. Uh, I'm missing out some a baby stroller. I think it is supposed to mean. I, either way, let's uh, look at the la latest mail. Replying to London. Uh, I know it was the right thing to do. I appreciate you letting me know, but it never felt the same as having you close by. London was an opportunity I couldn't pass up, an opportunity to tour and do what I love. But I still missed you like crazy, and when you told me go about going to the far, far range, it made me miss you even more, even before you were gone. I guess that's just us. What we really want just so happens to be in different parts of the known universe. I mean, there's a long distance, and then there's being so far away that time itself might actually function differently. Why aren't there more songs about that, huh? <laughs> uh, strollers, yeah. Uh, I grew up with a mix of English and American... Uh, well, English. So uh, I, I just mixed the two together at nearly every opportunity. Welcome to the rest of the world, not born in England, USA, or Australia, or New Zealand, Helian. Okay. And we actually, it's really trying to teach British English, but 
there has been uh, some teachers that, uh, at least in one teacher I heard uh, from another teacher when she went to school, but insisted she teach British English, but in fact she was teaching American. Apparently she couldn't tell the difference. Okay. Now, I think we can okay. put those uh, rat phosphors in here, because these are all uh, vegetarians as well, except for those two in there. Which was what originally filled this place up. Hell so, yeah. Yeah, I, I might do some off-screen uh, planning. I won't change anything off-screen. Yes, I have unlocked the lab. I have a few... Uh, well, I have two corals there as well. Oh yeah, we, we need to put out some drillers as well. We need to uh, first check up on the drills that we put out earlier. Which yeah. we'll do in a second, after just scavenging over here for a bit. Yeah. But... Oh, and what a thing about English here. I feel like, well, in many schools they teach British English, but a lot of American slips in due to, well, no in the East. Yeah, a, a lot of my English was actually self-taught, because, well, I'm Dutch, so... Uh, it isn't the mother language, even though I'm actually better with English in both writing and speaking than my own native language. Oh, God. Uh, but, yeah, I learned a lot of my uh, English from, uh, yeah, games and such. Like, I, I... Everyone I tell this, I tell this same line, but... Uh... uh oh, <clears throat> After enough times uh, of the uh, stick of dynamite going off on a timer, you find you figure out quickly enough what uh, time bomb means. Yeah. And you can put your own context to that if you want. <laughs> yeah, for me, that was helpful in as kids sense. Well, bomb and bomb are spelled the same way, just pronounced differently. Okay, and yeah, here's our lab. We keep uh, some rock tabbies, some <laughs> wild tabbies that we picked up and just didn't have the rock ports to feed at the moment, so they're just angrily moving around and getting stuck on my face. Oh dear God! I want kisses. And, and yeah, just the pinks because those are they're they're just the pinks. Yeah. Oh, look, I just remembered something. Apparently, a common thing to my mother and father, when I was very, very young, I think it speaks Swedish. Okay. I spoke a very quick English. <laughs> Alright. Well, I, apparently, because I watch too much TV. And the only one that could translate what I was saying was my twin brother. Alright, these don't eat those. Enjoy your half second of freedom. I want. Okay, maybe I should move them to. <laughs> Don't you have an automatic collector? Yeah, but those fruits aren't getting eaten. So uh, yeah, they'll, they'll just keep laying in there. Oh yeah, now I remember. You get the wrong food. <laughs> The cat intercepts and the other tries to run away with it. Wait. Uh, One cat grew very high and could not see where he landed. But for more worry, he would land inside with the others. Uh, if these were to turn into. Uh, if, a, yeah, if a tabby logo would pop in here, I'd just pluck it out and throw it away. Uh, yeah, a single one wouldn't do too much damage for too long unless it be unless it would get in there without us noticing. Actually, the, this one doesn't have an auto feeder, so let's put that on there. Hmm. Yeah, I'd need to do some planning on what goes where and such. Like, just put everything that doesn't eat fruits uh, in the same place and grow fruit over there. Though, actually, no. The, the drones only work in the area that they are dropped off in. So, hmm. Yeah, I, I would have to plant stuff 
that they eat in the same area and then have the drones move that to the corrals. Does it make sense to have the food corrals not too close to the actual uh, pens? Yeah. Let's see, advanced drill, last for three cycles and a higher chance of rare resources. Okay. That's not handy. Okay, novice drill, advanced drill, we are a bit short off. We need boom plorts and we need honey and phosphor plorts. I, I'm thinking I might actually move the slimes that produce these over here. So maybe make boom tabbies. Uh, or... Okay, it differs per stage as well. Okay. Or... Oh, it does not. Uh, brain fart. Okay, rad rocks. Boom tabbies. And honey phosphor. Okay. Yeah, I could set up... I could set up a third corral for those. We all, oh, I forgot about this one. We were using these to feed the rock tabbies. Because heartbeats are the favorites. Oh, that's all called. We can have the drones fit more lucky! What the heck? Must have this. Yeah, they're just... I'm just going to leave them out like a, a bunch of stray cats. <laughs> In the meantime, we can get this... ...and make ourselves some better drills. How are we actually with things at the moment? We are, we are good on a good bunch of plorts. Honey, we could get more of. Booms, we have nothing. Okay. And there's a lot of stuff that we haven't gotten our hands on yet. Now, let's just make that one. And you just seem to always be here staring at that screen, huh, kitty? And then he boops us and walks away, uh, insulted. <laughs> Such as cat. Yeah, I, I have two cats, so I know pretty well how that is. Might as well upgrade this since we're feeding them with that. Actually, have I done that on this one here? No, I haven't. Okay. Hmm. Actually, let me think. Uh, da -da -da. Rock and rads. Rads eat fruits. Rocks eat vegetables. Tabbies eat meat. Booms eat meat as well. So we might actually be better off crossbreeding there, so otherwise we'd have to bring in meat constantly. Phosphors are also fruit eaters, and so are honeys. Okay. Well, we do have some regular slimes here. Rock, red, tabby. Okay, so we can, if we have a fruit tree, we have vegetables over there. Yeah, if we mix them together so that they, the booms and tabbies don't, aren't mixed, then we can feed them all with just that. I just have to drop down a bunch of uh, drones to keep feeding them. So I do wonder... I do wonder if uh, two drones can work from the same station. We'll have to see in time. For now, yeah. we have these to collect. And we Actually, probably should have uh, some drones in the... Well, wherever we plant the plant, the dervish and mosaics. Yeah, that'll, that'll probably be in here. But for now, I should drop them off. So we, we have the extra space. So I'm going to set up a, a corral on this plot over here. Immediately put on the high walls. Lost words. Oop, oop, okay, yeah. <laughs> bye bye. What the? Um, what is that? Since we're putting. Since we're putting. Since we're going to be putting phosphorus into there anyways, I might as well put it on now. Hopefully that'll uh, reduce the amount of flares that they cause. No, it does not. 
Or at least not yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Okay, for now though, let's go grab our spoils. Actually, we need... Since we need Phosphor and Rad in there, we might as well move a few of those uh, over there. Let's see, Jelly Slime and... Oh, Advanced Pump now, okay. They're doing a little dance. <laughs> Date and slime fossil and indigonium. Okay. Heavy metal expert often call this air hard rock deep purple. That's probably that's probably a pun that I'm not getting. Indigonium is a common resource found exclusive to the indigo quarry, obtained with a drill. Indigonium is the ore that gives the indigo quarry its name. There's a little indigonium found in every inch of the quarry, but the purest ore is only found deep underground. Okay, so I'm guessing that's hinting that there is a better version that we can find. Okay, more of the same. Let's see. I'm guessing over there. That seems to be quote-unquote, deeper on the ground, since it's volcanically active. So... Yeah, let's head over there and put our, <coughs> put our drills down in there. Also, open that up. Famous artwork. I'm doing that joke too much. Blue coral columns. Coral towers whose color has shifted to the minerals found in the uh, indigo uh, quarry. Okay, still have no idea what those are. I'm guessing they are decorations that we can make now. Decorations and I or... should, I should, yeah, the, the blueprint that we found he just here. And just because I almost forgot, need the market, and that is here. Okay. Still much, much more of those things to find. And I should probably empty this side thing over here out because it's full with a bunch of miscellaneous junk. Alright. That's a lucky, but I don't have anything to throw at it. Actually. Well, that's the second time that we've run into one without anything to feed it. So, where can we put these yeah, down? This one. Oh, oh, only the advanced drill? Or, oh, we, we only made one advanced drill. So, of course, that's the only choice we have. And we can't reuse the old drills. Okay. It'll probably help if we put on a teleporter down here, if it is true that only in this area a specific resource can be found. I'm going to note this one down. Um, there. Keep that pen on capped. Good. And out we go. Now then. No oh, tar. Oh, how have I missed this one here this long? Nothing, really. Okay then. Oh, okay. I, I, don't think, I don't think there's really anything over here that we want to collect. And hello oh. there. Hello there, Pramsey06. Uh, uh, slime time? Uh, yeah, it's slime time. Eh? <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, okay. Let's go deposit this stuff. And uh, yeah, welcome. Uh, a lot of there's uh, three new people uh, here now, right now. I think three is. I think this is actually the most people we've had chatting in this, <laughs> well, in the stream chat at once. Oh, and thank you for following as well. Yeah, welcome you warmly, Taurus, on the humble stream. Okay, let's not get burned. Just be warned of Helian's heart-wrecking puns. <laughs> okay. Uh, one exactly, which is just what we need for another... I almost found <laughs> the fabricator. For another drill. Let's see, it's... Okay, so it is a direct doubling up. No, actually, I'm guessing the longer it lasts, the more resources it plucks out as well. So going for the advanced ones is actually cheaper, I'm presuming. I hope so. Actually, let's double check. What do we need? We're going to need a lot of pink plorts for all of this. Hmm. Well, luckily enough, we have a lot of pink ones. Yeah, we just need to feed them. We might actually need to make uh, logos with them. Yeah. Just to double up but the production. Question is, what should we combine them with? That's hmm. relatively safe. Yeah, and we already have uh, six other species that we'd be putting down here, along with the food for them. So yeah, we'll, we'll have to we'll have to put these pink ones somewhere else where we well, can provide it's, it's, them. It's probably better to have them there since well, we basically need them more for the lab. Yeah, and well, we have both our red and phosphorus over there. And uh, let's see, Prem C06, right? Who doesn't love slime time? Am I right? Uh, <laughs> Uh, neither of us, though a bit of a warning, I only, I'm only i only streaming these this game at the moment on Saturdays because uh, yeah, it's a bit of a palate cleanser of the games uh, will be... Of the, I have to put this best. Typically I stream as a sort of a, well, let's plays about two hours instead of uh, 30 minutes or whatever. So on the main week you know, day so of uh, Tuesday and Thursday, we'll be playing a, a game, currently Darksiders. And then Saturday, we'll be playing something else to keep up with some change. Because even good games get, get uh, a bit too much of the same at times. Okay, yep. enough for the breeding. And, then we, and also tomorrow, we'll have uh, Something Sunday. Yeah, where I test out four games, or test or show off. I'm going through them alphabetically, currently at N. Uh, yeah, where I try them out to see if they're any fun for streaming, perhaps. Also, uh, Zeria Fox, but I like puns. <laughs> Pun is, isn't good until it hits you in the soul. Yeah. I confirm, he has tried to kill me several times with his puns. It's... So, does that count as hitting me in the soul? I guess. Let's keep feeding these. Now we really should get to making those drones at some point. It's a good thing that we've got those guys in there because we need hunter blocks for them. I should actually double check what we do need for those drones. And that's a lot of boom plots in there. Oh dear. <laughs> Probably enough to turn his entire planet into a moon. <laughs> Please don't. Okay, oop, one extra. And then the crystals. I'm not sure how many crystals we put into the... Uh, <clears throat> into the refinery. So let's double check that. And we might as well go check up in here. But tell Zary again, has he told you a joke that caused you to stagger back as if hit? 
We need to get this guy in the several times. <laughs> so does that answer your question? We have a spare rooster. Actually, I don't know if the, 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 those all questions are only directed to me or what. Uh, yes, they are. And uh, Jerry's answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, oh, good God. How many times are you... F well, I'm about to play a turn. Maybe you know, basically you flew me into knocking uh, my ass off on the floor. A good amount of times, I'd say. Yeah. Yes. The radiation. The most I remember, top of my head, would be one time at, well, Brutal Legends, and maybe one or two times at the, oh god, what's his name again? Uh, Symphony of Night. Uh, you mean, <laughs> you mean uh, Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night? Uh, that one, yes. And uh, yeah, on that game, basically, I, I just joked, uh, do you like the joking or uh, rather, damn if that guy is named Sweeney Todd. And uh, blow the hell he did was his name. Uh, crystals, crystals, we are complete. Get back here. Uh, let's see, Pramsey. I had Slam Rancher on my console, but I just got a PC and Slam Rancher with it, so I have to restart. And the strays are pestering up. How did you. Are you stuck in there? It's working. No. <laughs> you look pretty stuck to me, Tabby. But tabbies. <laughs> okay, uh, how are we on radiation? Okay, we got a we've got a decent amount, but better to have more than we need than to have too little. Apparently, it wants also gold clock in its wait. What can you use gold clock for? Selling mostly, but it it doesn't want them. It it just shows how much are in storage. Uh, pink is going to be the. <clears throat> Pink is going to be the uh, choke point for this. Let's see. Honey, Quantum, Hunter, Honey, uh, and Jelly. Okay. So we're going to need to start with these pumps and uh, the apiary. So again, just pink plorts. Now we're going to need to mix these up with something so they can uh, give us double the amount of plorts. Wait, 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 wait. What not with two berries? Um, I'm actually... I, oh, it's this, the honey slimes. Pink slime and honey slimes? Could do, yeah. Or... That should probably have a positive effect on right here. Especially in, in regard of production. No, Tabby, you are not coming with. Yeah, it might be best if I plan that all out uh, off stream. Otherwise, uh, we'd just be looking at me doing paperwork. And I doubt anyone would really want that. This episode, exciting action with paperwork. Yeah. It doesn't work. Unless you make a better pistol cartoon of it. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that there's someone that's creatively insane that could do it. It's... Wait, creatively insane? Is that even a term? Creatively insane? Uh, possibly somewhere. Get yeah, out of my face, yeah. kitty. You, you, uh, heads up, you seem to have a bit of a bad weather in there. Oh, okay, da. Okay. Uh, so that is what they do when they get unhappy. Yeah, now you notice. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, we are we are so putting those things inside. Okay. Uh, APR fabricates. Uh, I think it's some extreme XO mosaic escaping. Oh, oh, hello there. How are they oh, they're, they're going thrown out. They're getting thrown out by these guys. Okay. And we have. I think we had more mosaics. Wait. Hmm. What kind of roof did you make? You give them? I gave, I gave them the solar shield, but not the bouncing shield. So... Yeah. Okay, that's... Just... okay that's my fault then. Oh, okay, now they're. How did that get, when it gets thrown out? Okay, yeah, I should move these guys. <laughs> yeah, let's move those into the cave. Well, that's a bit of both, but let's get. I have one just for them. Everyone in the vacuum. That's our four fire. Uh, it's. Yeah, that's mostly cleaned up, it seems. Get back in there. <laughs> what? You got up to in the wrong spell? Get back. Not my fault you people aren't sharing uh, their foods. Okay. So, at, yeah, I'm going to bring over a few of the... Uh, <clears throat> A few of the rat phosphors, and then I'm guessing we'll just feed one of we'll feed one of the, the big ones here, a port that isn't of theirs, and let them just clean the place up themselves. And then we'll kill all we'll we'll kill off whatever tar remains afterwards. Brutal, my young lad. Brutal. They might actually go after the hens as well, though, so we'll have to clear those out. It seems we haven't lost a single of our tabby cats over here, because it, they started with four. No, still four. Actually... All of you naughty kitties in the corner. Well, I guess the machine workers now as engineers. Uh, you're unhappy, huh? Yes. They don't pay me enough. They don't hug me enough. And I demand a pay raise. <laughs> Screw you. Okay. Oh, oh God. Yes. I, I, I can't even jokefully swear at a person. That's what Again, these... I use. I didn't actually say my first swear until I was 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. What's, which was it? I think mosaic slimes were the ones that uh, liked vegetables, so let's dump one of them in here for a second. Okay, just eat something, get your ports, and then we GTFO out. So I think, did I get it or did I miss it? I think, I, I, think I got it. I don't see it in here. And there are... Yeah, for some reason, I think there's... I, I think there's too many Largos here because they were all frozen like that. And uh, one of them is going to get that. And yeah, we did only... We moved only three, but we can easily get more class first to just dump in there with them. Oh, that's what... You intentionally tried to summon a tower. Yeah. So they'll clean this place out. And yeah, we... Okay, I missed one of the chickens that I dumped in here. We can just enjoy the, um, the madness. Happy Halloween! All of them are looking for me! What? They're fake? Oh, right. Uh, you forgot, tell me to Helium. Yeah, they favor ranchers as their food. Yeah, so of course they're going after you. Mm -hmm. 
Hello there. Bye bye. <laughs> They're just all jumping up to get at that one. <laughs> the betrayal! The betrayal! <laughs> the top 10 anime betrayals. <laughs> okay, now we clean this thing out. Cue the doom music. Uh, yeah, I, 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 can't do, I can't do the doom music. Do doom music! And there we go. Cleaned out. The music is still playing. Hmm. Okay. Is the one still hiding somewhere? Uh, no, it stopped now. Okay. Now we just clean up the ports. And yeah, these we can sell. We have a good amount in the refinery for now. Um, yeah, we can put the mosaics and the dervish in here. They, they can cause chaos without causing any damage. Hopefully. They can probably end up killing the chickens. But those are more easily replaced. Actually, I, I don't even need to separate the chickens. I could just put normal... Uh, I, I could put them all together. Just have one or two coops with every type of them. Let's see. <laughs> Your MC06. Uh, yeah, many slimes died that day. Yeah! Now I think about it. Yeah. Being made into tar is probably the only way that uh, slimes can actually really die because they don't uh, return to the slime sea. <laughs> so yeah, we did just commit uh, slime genocide. Uh, and right on cue, I hear ambulance outside. <laughs> okay. That, that's and... just been awkwardly timed. Mm, yeah, they're not causing, they're not creating any sparkles in here. Actually, mosaic and phosphorus slime might actually be a good combination. Oh, oh they are creating sparkles still. Okay. So they However, do, do that no least, matter what. Yeah, at least they have a rock roof. Help me out a little bit. Yeah. We'll see what combination they make later. For now, we have this to sell. Okay, those last ones are really quite valuable at the moment. We need to get our hands on fire and tangle slimes at the moment still. Actually, wouldn't it be a, a bit ironic if we mixed fire and plant slimes together? That'd be terrifying. Yeah, we And yeah, I think I'm just going to move the elderly party over to the... Uh, I forget the name of it again. Overgrowth, okay. Then I got... Oh yeah, this place is called the Moss Blanket, not the Overgrowth. Okay, so I had that wrong. Okay. No pool for them, but they can still wander around freely. I get eaten. Uh, these guys are these guys are vegetarian, except for this duo, Inky and Oscar. As uh, what well, you wanted to name them. <laughs> and yeah, Ink and Oscar are the names of the, the our cats here. I'm a bit surprised that one of them hasn't shown up to walk into the room. Yeah, if I remember right, Inky is the most camera show show of the two. Uh, it's not that she's anti show social, I'd say. Uh, you know. uh, well, I think most so camera social. Oh, uh, cam camera social. <laughs> Uh, well, if, if you mean sticking her ass in front of the camera as social, then yes, she is. 
but... Okay, here's the thing, people. I can see him play the stream and all that, but I can't see his face cam. So, yeah, that was the new info for me. Uh, yeah, at, at times she just gets on top of my desk and to, to demand attention and such. <laughs> okay. We are getting close to the five and no, not the, the two hour limit though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've not been playing for five hours. Is every fox? Yes, yeah, my cat does that to me. <laughs> Let's see. Life is different now. I'd hear, I had a year to think about things while you slept on your way across the stars. I think it's almost scared me when things got easier and when I finally realized that what we ha each have now is what we wanted all along. Because if you're still the girl that I know, you're happy out there on the far, even on the very farthest frontier. And I hope that happiness you feel now lasts forever. I hope that the sunsets over there are as gorgeous as they are over here. And that if you search far enough on a rainy day, some rancher out there has a taco stand you can visit. <laughs> I realize that last one probably isn't likely to happen, but it sure would be romantic, right? I'm glad to have shared a part of me with you, Beatrix Lebeu. And I'm happy to know that maybe one of those stars you see up there... Uh, maybe, I'm, I'm happy to know that maybe one of those stars I see up there in the sky is you. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't think we've looked here yet. Okay. A rooster red red of fan fans upgrades? Is this what is all of this doing? Past upgrades? Oh it, okay. it's fixing the it's fixing up the ranch. Okay. Maybe something to look into if it actually adds anything useful. Um, yeah, I think it's time that we just merge these coops together. Actually, just double checking something. Uh, let's see. Dervish slimes, they eat fruit, and the mosaic eats veggies. Okay, so we are safe to put all of our chickens in, well, one figurative basket. <laughs> Probably make two coops just to ensure that a decent population is around. And for that, we'll tear this down, demolish, and then we make a coop. Put you two in there, and then we go gather the others. Oh dear. We could potentially just put normal chickens in there as well, but nothing has those as their preference. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll have a bit of chicken segregation. Oh, That's horrible. Okay. Actually, we can pluck up a few. To at least leave breeding pairs. We're short of rooster here. No, we're not. Okay. Uh, you all get a change in diet as well for a bit. And yeah, they've been mixing up. Uh, yeah, this makes me one question. Why are we combining? One slam to summon tornado and one slam to summon fire tornadoes into one. Now they don't create fire tornadoes, they just create those sparkles that burst into fire. Though that could cause fire tornadoes, yeah. Yeah, you see the problem here now, don't you? <laughs> okay, yeah, so we might have actually made things more dangerous in there. Yeah, more dangerous than you knew. Who next to you? What is that new symbol on on in the upper left? We have day, we have time, and we have some other symbol. What the heck is that? Is that to tell us what upgrade we have done to our farm? 
Maybe it's the amount of upgrades that we did do. Uh, is there a defense reward club? Let, let's let's see how. That is fifteen hundred. It, it does resemble our logo, yeah. And what did we, that was the past upgrade. Next one is would be ports upgrades. And yeah, it's it's our range level. Okay, that does look a lot better. Yes, this place was a uh, scruffy, I'll call it. <laughs> Can I hit it from here? Oh dear. No. Oh, that, it did bounce off the side, though. Close! Okay. So, let's see. Let's, let's check on the, uh, the overgrowth we s and are on the docks. We haven't checked on the water slimes in a bit. Nothing for us to clock here. Those two are very well fed. But we are not letting them out because then we'd be getting <laughs> troubles with tar in there. And this area is completely unused. We need something in here. But yeah, I'll, I'll do planning off screen of what to put where to mix it all safely and then uh, next week w would it be yeah i think it'd probably be better if i d would it be better for me to reorganize everything off screen or to do that uh, on stream oh that's a good question because it would just be a lot of mic mi a bit of micromanaging the area that's one of the elders. And I'm guessing these two are having a debate. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I think we'll for now we'll do it on stream. That way nothing else that might pop up gets missed. Uh, yeah, the, the main thing we need to do now is get a bunch of pink floors so we can put stuff down. Speaking of putting stuff down, we made an apiary, but we didn't put it anywhere. Uh, slime science. Uh, extractors. Pumps in a dry reef. Apiaries in the moss blanket. Okay. And we don't have a teleporter that goes straight to the moss blanket. Then again, we were going to set up a, a, port, well, a teleporter network over there at the, uh, the lab. We never put this in. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I... Hmm, I'm wondering how much I... If I should do anything off screen or if we should do it all on screen. Because we want we want our teleporters over here, probably. Each to a part over in these areas with extra with a lot of space for us to put stuff down. Um But I wouldn't want to have yeah stuff be missed on screen. So, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll need to do quite a bit of off uh, research uh, to just plan everything. Uh, luckily, okay, we can see the amount of plots we can have everywhere in these squares, though they are a bit hard to see here. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll just research some off screen, but for now, we've hit two hours. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, uh, well then, uh, ta -ta -ta. let's have a look at who might be viewing. Uh, it seems that Aaron Bloke left, uh, well, but uh, yeah, then. Uh, in no particular order, thank you for watching Zary the Fox, Pramsey06, and even though he's uh, gone, Aaron Dunn Bloke247, uh, 
and anyone else who may have been watching. And thank you especially, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, we gave a bit of an explanation of our schedule earlier. Tomorrow we'll have something Sunday, which where we try out up to four games to see if they are good for streaming or not. Not streaming, streaming. <laughs> Yeah, do we, we we start something Sunday at a different hour though? Yeah, yeah, we do that early, uh, six hours early because yeah, at the moment it's 10 p.m. here because Europe. Uh, I'll, I'll still put out uh, <clears throat> I'll still put out uh, an announcement on that. I forgot the name actually. Uh, that uh, gamer Twitter site that I told you about recently, Turkier. Oh yeah, I recall that. I've, I've actually forgotten the name now. I, let me just bring it up over here. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, gamerized. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to put up announcements of my streams there whenever I'll be starting. Uh, like said, uh, something Sunday tomorrow, I'll have to test the games if they work with OBS, because sometimes they just don't. And then Tuesday and Thursday we'll be continuing with we'll be continuing with Darksiders. <laughs> but until then, until then, be safe, folks. Be well. Be well. <laughs>